Hey there, Taurus, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. In this reading, we're going to look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. Okay, Taurus, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week is the Nine of Cups. Emotional fulfillment, happiness. It could be that this is what you're experiencing, or it could be that you're having a hard time accessing that energy. We'll see when we clarify. In your recent past, you get the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit. Very, very introspective energy. Very much focusing on yourself here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. It feels like this is almost like a new energy for you, like you're not used to focusing on yourself. And so in your recent past... You're all about yourself, going within, um, entering this like new phase energetically, and also being very, very introspective, which is very nice. In your current situation, you get the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Hangman. There is something in your current situation which is bringing up a lot of resistance, a lot of anxiety, a lot of emotional, possibly um, pain, but you're not doing anything about it. It's almost like this energy is kind of keeping you stuck or... There's something here that's bringing up this resistance and this emotional pain, and you just don't want to do anything to fix it. Um, in your near future, you get the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Moon. There's something in, there's communication coming in for you. Either you want to communicate or someone wants to communicate with you in the near future, and this communication is going to bring in a lot of clarity. Lots of clarity and also lots of action possibly being taken on your part or somebody else's part. However, with the moon here, there's something hidden. Maybe that you're not even aware that this is coming, or maybe that there's something else accompanying this that you're not aware of in the near future. But let's clarify, let's start by clarifying the nine of pentacles in your recent past. Lots of nines. You have cups, pentacles, wands, swords. You have all the nines on the table here, which is like an energy of being almost there. The 10 is all about completions. The nine is all about being almost there, almost at the finish line. Just notice that. Uh, nine of pentacles in the recent past. For the nine of pentacles in the recent past, you get the ace of wands, the strength, and the six of swords. There was something here that you wanted to take action for. You wanted to make something happen, possibly bring something back with a connection, or it could just be just wanting to take action from a place of passion. However, with the strength showing up here, I see that being difficult for you. This wasn't easy for you to acknowledge that you wanted to make this happen or to even, you know, like do something about this. And so instead, because it was so difficult, I see you just kind of walking away from it in the recent past. It's almost like there was something you wanted to do, possibly for yourself, possibly within a connection, but it was, it, it almost shows up as like it was too hard to do that. So you're just kind of like, forget it, I'm gonna give up. And you just kind of like walked away. Let's take a look at this Ace of Pentacles in your recent past. Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Chariot, the Nine of Pentacles, which you just got in your recent past, and the Three of Wands. There's something here that you want to move towards. You're moving towards a new beginning, okay? There's definitely an, an energy of like starting new, starting fresh. With the Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot is fast movement forward. The Nine of Pentacles, again, focusing on yourself. This is a lot of very like me energy, and not me energy in like a bad way, like um, I'm selfish, I'm focusing just on myself. I don't care about anybody else. No, it's like I'm focusing on my needs, my desires, my boundaries, what I want. And again, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is almost like it's a new thing for you, like you're starting fresh. However, in the recent past, there's still the Three of Wands here. You're still waiting for something. I don't know what you're waiting for, but you're showing up as still waiting for something. Let's clarify the Hermit in your recent past. Maybe we'll get a better understanding of what you may have been waiting for. Ah, there we go. That's what you're waiting for. For the Hermit, you get the Eight of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups. There is so much love here for something or someone, Taurus. There's a connection here that you carry so much love for. You care about this person. You want to come together with this person. I feel like this is the, the intensity. Like, just looking at these cards, I just feel like just love smacked me in the face. Now, the problem is you or somebody else may have walked away with the eight of cups here this is emotional detachment could be in your recent past that you were waiting for something to happen in this connection 
you walked away. I feel I don't feel like your person walked away. I feel like you walked away and you tried to emotionally detach. And maybe you succeeded on some level. But in your recent past with the hermit, the hermit is all about like the deep, deep parts of your soul, of your psyche, right? This is like your subconscious. With the hermit here, that's telling me like on the surface, you're like, yeah, I walked away, I detached. Deep down though, this is what you're still carrying for this person. So much love, so much desire to be with this person. Let's take a look at the nine of wands in the current situation. The nine of wands is clarified by the six of wands, the world, the wheel of fortune. Something here came to an end, okay? There was an ending. All right. And it was meant to happen this way with the world and the wheel of fortune, whatever ended a cycle closed out. It happened quickly and it happened the way it was supposed to. This was like divine intervention making this happen. OK, so whatever ended in the past that you walked away from, it was meant to happen this way. OK, in the current situation, you're showing up as wanting to feel good, wanting to feel very, very positive. It's almost like you're resisting this energy of allowing things to happen the way they're meant to happen you're kind of like no i want this to happen the way i want it to happen and you're like this this is this is my safe zone nobody enter my safe zone notice how she's like guarding her her little spot with a bunch of sticks from absolutely nothing by the way there's nothing coming at her this is all in her head this is all like things that she's protecting herself again but she's creating a little a little defense like a barrier for herself because Something ended, something happened, and you wanted to feel good about it. I don't feel like you did. Whatever came to an end, just know there was divine guidance here and divine intervention, and it happened the way it was supposed to. The cycle closed out the way it was supposed to, but I don't feel like you feel very good about it, even though you may want to feel good about it. Let's take a look at the Nine of Swords in your current situation. Damn, Taurus. The Nine of Swords is clarified by the Three of Cups, the Lovers, the Four of Swords. This love from the past, it's in your current situation and it's bringing in so much anxiety, so much fear. Honestly, Taurus, I don't even feel like this love, this connection that you're like so focused on, I don't even feel like it's in your life right now. I feel like energetically you're feeling this. I feel like on an energetic level you're connecting with this person. I don't think you're even talking to this person. I don't feel like there's any communication. I don't feel like this person's together with you or in your vicinity. Nothing. This is all on an energetic level. Either way, in the current situation, you feel that this is a super intense connection. You want a reconciliation. You want to get back together with this person or you want to be with this person and you want to heal this. There is something here about healing this connection. I don't see a breakup showing up in these energies, but I feel like something serious, like a breakup or a separation happened in your distant past, okay? And you were going through all these energies of trying to like feel good about it, trying to be like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm good, etc. Deep down, you're still carrying this love. And in the current situation, I see you finally, this is bringing in anxiety, don't get me wrong. Like this, this is anxious energy. Like you do not feel good about this, but I feel like you're finally coming to terms with like, yeah, I feel like this is an intense connection. I really, really want to get back together with this person and I really want to heal this connection. And again, this could be you, this could be your person, but energetically, I feel like this is you. It's just like there's everything else happening and then in your reading, just like pockets of like explosions of love and emotion just like pop up. Let's take a look at the hangman because I don't feel like you're doing anything. I feel like this is all energetic. Let's take a look at the hangman in your current situation. you're not doing anything because you're in pain the hangman is clarified by the three of swords the judgment the queen of swords your pain you're carrying pain Taurus. you're carrying a lot of pain in this current situation so even though you may feel on an energetic level you may feel this love for this person this connection whatever there's so much pain here and this pain is preventing you from actually doing anything it's putting you in the hangman situation and it's showing up you're showing up as the queen of swords, which is someone that is very cold, very closed off, very logical. There's no emotion being shown here, okay? With the judgment, however, I see you realizing this. I see you possibly coming to the realization that this is the case. Again, I see you realizing this. I don't actually see you doing anything about it because both the love is so intense, but the pain is so intense. I can see them both equally intense and showing up. So I can understand why you wouldn't take action. But in the current situation, I do see you coming to the realization like, yeah, this is what I feel and this is what I'm carrying, this pain. Let's take a look at the eight of wands in your near future. 
Eight of Wands is clarified by the Five of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Seven of Cups. You want to communicate. You or this person want to communicate with each other. There's conflict between the two of you, okay? And a lot of confusion. There's tons and tons of confusion. Either you or your person or both of you. There's this desire to communicate about the fight, the conflict, whatever. But there's so much confusion about whether you should, how to go about it. What should I say? Should I even do this? It's kind of like you're battling yourself in a sense of like, I have this desire to communicate, but there's so much like BS surrounding it and confusion and headache that it just like, just looking at this, I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't even want to deal with this. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting in your near future. Let's take a look at this Ace of Swords in your near future. Ace of Swords is clarified by the King of Cups, the Justice, the Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, loving, divine soul connection. Um, yeah, whoever this person is, you or them, this confusion is going to get, it's, it's going to get taken care of because this person is going to get to the clarity that not only do they have a lot of love for this person, for the other person, they want to restore justice and not just like, you know, hey, let's make up. This is justice on like a soul level. You want to balance the energies out on a soul level. And I see you having the desire to do that. So you're not just like, oh, it would be nice if this happened. I see you actually taking action to make that happen alongside the Ace of Swords. Like, this isn't just, you know, you realize that this is what you want. You realize that this is what you feel. And I see you taking action to restore balance into the situation where you have a lot of love for this person. And I feel like they have a lot of love for you, Taurus. These emotions are way too intense to be one-sided. Let's take a look at the moon in your near future, closing off your reading. The moon is clarified by the high priestess, the six of pentacles, the tower. Wow, okay. Again, on a soul level, and again, both the high priestess and the moon are all about the subconscious, like the, the inner parts of your soul. You want to restore balance with this person. You want to make the situation work. You want to bring balance. Because right now, I don't feel like there is balance between you two. I feel like you guys aren't even talking. There was a fight, something happened, whatever. With the tower, though, it's showing up as you being afraid of making this balance happen, of trying to achieve this balance because you're afraid you're going to mess it up. You're afraid that even if you try, it's not going to happen. It's not going to come to fruition. And again, this is the same thing that's showing up in your current situation where you want this. You want this connection. You want to heal this connection. But there's so much pain and anxiety associated with it that I don't see you doing anything. And in the near future, I don't know. I think the tower is like, I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't, I I see the desire to restore balance. I don't know if you're actually going to do it yet, though. Let's take a look at what energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Taurus. From the universe, you get the Eight of Cups, the Sun, and the World. Something here came to an end, okay? And you emotionally detached from whatever this is. Something came to an end. A relationship came to an end. It ended. That cycle ended. You emotionally detached. The problem is, Taurus, you emotionally detached from something that brought you a lot of happiness, okay? It brought you a lot of pain, obviously. I can see the pain here, no doubt. But you trying to emotionally detach in the recent past, and again, the reason I say trying is not because I don't think that you succeeded on some level. I feel like you did emotionally detach in some capacity, right? But the way it shows up, it's like, you know, Taurus is moving along her life, focusing on herself, bam, love. Taurus is moving along and ending, bam, love. And it's like, you're moving along, but th these pockets of love didn't go anywhere. You're still feeling this love. You're just shoving it down on like a deep, deep level to the point where I don't think you want to feel it, which again, makes sense because there's a lot of pain here, okay? Um, in your recent past, I do see you focusing on yourself and healing yourself and working on yourself, which is great, but you can try to hide these feelings as much as you want. I don't feel like they're going anywhere, if I'm being honest. I just don't. And so from the universe... This emotional detachment is something, you, you emotionally detach from something that brought you a lot of happiness. And I see that coming to an end. I see you kind of kind of like closing out that cycle and being like, okay, I'm done BSing myself. Like, I know what I feel. I'm going to feel what I feel. That's what I'm getting. Um, wow, Taurus, very interesting reading. Thanks for tuning in. If this resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you here for your reading next week. Bye, Taurus.